Welcome to this week's devotion. Again, I have three things for you. A question, a story from the Bible, and a song you can use to worship God wherever you are. First, the question. When is a time when someone else has helped you? It might be something that happened today or earlier this week, or maybe someone has just helped you in a way that you remember from a long time ago. For me, I needed to get a cooler out of our shed just a few days ago, and it was a big cooler on a really high shelf. In fact, I had to climb a ladder to get the cooler down. So I asked my daughter to help me, and here's how she did it. She stood at the bottom of the ladder so that I could pull the cooler off the shelf and then hand it to her so I could climb safely down the ladder. You know, she might not have realized how helpful that was. Sometimes we think helping is not that important, or maybe it doesn't make that big of a difference. It's kind of like this piece of paper here. It doesn't seem like anything special, nothing out of the ordinary. It doesn't seem very strong, actually, kind of, kind of bendy. It can't really hold up a book. It would just fall flat. And sometimes we might feel that way about helping others that eh, maybe it doesn't make that much difference. But the amazing thing is that when Jesus gives us his Holy Spirit, we're able to help people in ways that really make a difference for a long time. Kind of like this paper. If I were to roll it up in a different way and make it sort of a tube, kind of like a paper towel tube, I'm going to put a rubber band around it so it'll stay rolled up. I bet this paper can help in ways you might not have imagined. You could probably try this at home if you like, in case you think I'm doing some trick on the video. You just take an ordinary piece of paper, roll it up, put a rubber band around it to hold it, and watch how it can do some pretty helpful, powerful things. It could even hold up a book like this. It's a pretty sturdy book, cardboard front and back, lots of pages with Bible stories inside. But this ordinary piece of paper can hold up that book. You know, that is the way that the gift of helping others works when the Holy Spirit allows us to encourage people, to hold them up, to help them move on toward doing the good things that God has for us. The story we're going to hear about from the Bible today is about a man called Barnabas. Now, Barnabas helped others in lots of ways. He helped them by giving them things when they needed it. He helped by listening to them. He helped by sharing with them about how Jesus loves them. But the story I want to tell you about today was a way that he helped a man who needed a friend. Now, we learned a few weeks ago about a man named Saul who had been hurting the people who loved Jesus, but then he met Jesus. And he wanted to follow Jesus too? Well, that's where we find this story today. It's in Acts chapter 9. It's in the Bible, so we know that this is a true story. After Saul had met Jesus, he went to Jerusalem and wanted to get to know the people who loved Jesus and followed them. However, when he went to them, they didn't believe that he had met Jesus. They didn't believe that he had changed his life. And so, Barnabas went with Saul to the other followers of Jesus, and Barnabas stood up for him. He told everyone how Saul had met the Lord and on the way to Damascus, and how the Lord had spoken to Saul. And Barnabas told them that Saul had preached about Jesus boldly to all the others. And everyone believed Barnabas. They believed the good things that God had done in Saul's life. And so then they accepted Saul as a follower of Jesus. You see, sometimes helping someone means that we stand up for them or that we believe what is, what is really good and happening in their hearts. Sometimes helping someone means reminding them that they have a friend, that they're not alone. Sometimes helping someone might be carrying things for them when they have a, a really heavy load. Barnabas did all those things. And he, it says in the Bible, was filled with the Holy Spirit and so God used the things that he did to help others to make a difference in their lives forever. You know, there's a song that I've posted on our church website called The Golden Rule, and it talks about doing to others as you want others to do to you. When someone pays attention to you, or when someone gives you a helping hand, it's really incredible. 
and so that's something you can do for others. So enjoy this song and have a wonderful week knowing that God has helped us and so we can help those around us.